Hey, so today we're going to be listening to the album Divine Intertention by Hail the Sun. I'm very excited for this album. Um, I've been jamming uh, the four singles quite a bit. Uh, mostly Mind Rider and Maladapted. Um, Chunker and Under the Floor are very interesting songs. Um, I think I like Under the Floor more than Chunker. I feel like Chunker, it's, um, I don't know, it has a very weird... There's a lot of weird vocal melodies in that song that doesn't really hit me personally but i really loved the instrumentals in that song but um we're gonna see if uh the context of this album it will grow on me or not i'm definitely gonna be listening uh to this album on repeat uh today or for the next couple of days because i'm kind of in the mood of listening to stuff that you know a bit softer doesn't blow my fucking head off um but um yeah um I think that's all I really have to say. I think eventually um, some uh, my roommate is going to come in and get his shit to go do stuff for today. So I may move my mic and talk to him while the album is going. Hopefully it's not like one of the newer songs. But um, yeah, I think that's all I really have to say. But um, anyways, let's get straight into it. Oh fuck, I'm trying to get my phone to look at lyrics. Bro, that guitar lead. Goodness, man. Here. I, I feel like this will be so overlooked by people, but I just want you to listen to the guitar leads. Um, I don't know, the amazing triads and going into like a very, very nice triad uh, chord and then going into a very, very dissonant, oh god. Bro. Here. Dude, that is fun. That is awesome. gives a very cool contrast between the vocals and the lead guitars, having that tension there with the dissonance. Yeah, this is a very nice chorus. Look at those vocal layers, or vocal melodies in the background. Or yeah, vocal, 
buckle layers, yeah. Makes sense. Love how they're dialing the energy, dial dialing it down and then dialing it back up in this verse. Very nice. This is, uh, I'm pretty sure this would be a huge song live. Love a different variation of this chorus. God, the thing I really that really hooked me on this song is the guitar leads, the phaser guitar leads. Oh man. Getting into Chunker, Chunker hasn't really hit me as much compared to the other singles. The ending of the song I really, really enjoy. I think it's my favorite part, definitely. Yeah, the guitar leads are insane here. Fire, icy friction, icy 
Yeah, I really like this part of the chorus. Yeah, I kind of feel like this song isn't very, very innovative. That makes it um, feel fresh. I don't know. I really like the ending of this. I feel like there's just a lot of repetition in this song. Now we're getting into a new song. Looks like there's no lyrics. Sucks. There's phaser bleeds. Loving the innovation with the drums.
What? Oh, I wasn't on the search bar. Sorry about that. Wait, is that the actual how the way how the way it flows? I don't know how I feel about that transition. Interesting. I really like this breakdown here. Or I guess I can call it a breakdown. Here, I'm gonna re-listen to that transition again real quick. I feel like it's so abrupt for me personally. I don't know. It sounds very weird to me, but um, we'll keep on going.
We'll see if uh, if it'll grow, if that transition will grow on me. Not. Extend that course, I'm pretty sure. I feel like this song is definitely going to be a grower for me. By the way, I'm looking down because I'm looking at the lyrics. Or looking at the lyrics on Genius. Well, I absolutely felt. What the fuck? Oh, there it is. I went back. I dreamt I found you hanging. I didn't know what it meant. Your eyes would follow me though. Everywhere.
Yeah, I feel like this song has a very nice progression. I feel like the more that you listen to it uh, throughout the song, it gets even better. Definitely a grower, I think. I'm actually going to wash my face real quick. I'll be back. Okay. Um, I have a say. This album so far has been very good. I've really enjoyed it. I feel like there's a lot of grower songs in here. I feel like if I had a bit more context with like most of the lyrical content, I'll probably enjoy this first listen a bit more. But, uh, but um, I have to say, this song has a very nice, or this album has a very nice progression of different stuff. I feel like the only thing I'm kind of questioning if I really like or not is the transitioning between uh, the fourth track and fifth track. It's, it, I don't know if it works very well for me personally, but um, I don't know. It will probably grow on me, maybe. We'll see. Um, but um, yeah, and I feel like the fourth and fifth track kind of goes together in a way, lyrically, which is kind of cool. Um, um, but um, it seems like it's like the the fourth track kind of goes, goes and talks about how this person doesn't have any control of themselves and they feel like they're, um, um, I don't know, they're, I, I feel like, yeah, I think the general gist of it is that they don't really have control over themselves, but then in the fifth track, they start looking at how they're feeling and then uh, looking at it through a lens that if they uh, stop worrying about certain stuff or um, if there's stuff that they care about but doesn't really matter that much that they can, you know, let go of the wheel and just um, just kind of chill and not have to worry about it. And then, therefore, it's less stressful and they're actually able to take care of themselves or whatever the case may be um but um yeah um we'll see um how that uh, how those two songs uh um as i listen to this album on repeat today and see if it'll grow on me um i don't know it, it's very in, uh, uh erupt abrupt uh, i don't know i don't know the word for it right now but um yeah anyways let's keep on going whoa
Wow. Love the vocal delivery when he says it in this sense. Yeah, the guitar lead also has a very nice flow to it. Yeah, this is a very, very good song. It's very, very different, and also the lyrical content is—it's uh, a—it's—it's it's a topic that's on been on my heart for quite a bit now. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to go into it, but all I have to say, um, if you haven't already, uh, watch. Um, oh, what is it called? I don't know. It's the—it's on Amazon Prime. Um, if you guys didn't know, uh, if you guys do know the 18 kids on counting show, um, uh, a bunch of people made a whole documentary of the family and stuff like that. And the teachings that they have taught their children and, um, the main teacher teachings of like Bill Gothard and stuff like that. This song is like, I don't know, like I, I would, if, if this song doesn't really hit with you, Go watch that, uh, whatever that show is called on the Amazon Prime, and then I think it will kind of hit because, yeah, that is uh, very similar to a lot of that, a lot, a lot of that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, um, yeah, that was a very, very cool song. Probably the heaviest "Hail the Sun" song I've heard, probably. Um, but um, yeah. Anyways, let's get straight into the next song. I think I'm growing still. Between perspectives, I'm different than I was the moment right before this, and still there's no doubt I'll change. It's hard to communicate. I think I'm growing still. You cried to me before you could. There's 
Interesting. I don't know what that song means lyrically. Would it be a stretch to say that this feels very similar to Royal Coda in a way? I kind of get those vibes here. Especially their newer album. Love the tension.
Damn, I feel like this song makes a lot more sense as a closer uh, musically. Um, man. So that was Divine Entertention by Hail the Sun. Um, I think this is a great album, honestly. Um, I think there's a there's only like one uh, one bit of this album that I, I'm not too sure of, which is a transition f- between the fourth and fifth track. That's pretty much it. Um, but um, there's a whole variety of different stuff in this album, which I really liked. And I feel like, um, I don't know, I feel like this is the best musically in their discography, I feel. Um, I, I, I feel like it's a lot more interesting. Um, I feel like most of their albums are very, very consistent, which is, isn't really something wrong with that. But I like having an album that is a lot more diverse with a whole bunch of different sounds and feelings and stuff like that, and, um, I feel like this album kind of hits the mark for me, um, I have to, I, there's, st- I, I do listen to some of their older stuff every so often, I usually, like, my go-to albums are, like, Wake or Culture Scars, I do remember listening to those two albums a lot, a lot, a lot, I think I listened to that, to those two albums a lot to the point where I don't, I'm, I don't really want to come back to them until for, I don't know, I'm taking a break from those albums a bit. I'm kind of getting burnt out from it. Um, but, um, yeah, I feel like this is another album that I'm going to just grind and listen to a lot and see it lyrically, if it'll grow on me on some songs, I feel like there's some, I I feel like I have some questions about some of the lyrical content, especially songs like uh, Feeble Words. I don't really know particularly what that song means, but um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about this album. It's very nice, a possible grower for me. I don't think it's going to be an album of the year for me personally, uh, but I do think it's one of the best, it's one of the best albums of this year. It's it's definitely up there for me. Like it's like A tier, I would I would say. Um but um yeah. Also like I think the biggest thing about this album that I really, really enjoy enjoyed is the guitar lead work. Um the phaser guitar leads. I don't think they ever really used phaser guitar leads in their previous albums i could be totally wrong about it but i feel like this the those like lead signature guitar leads are like a signature of this album um it's uh it's a very big quality of it and um i hope they keep on going in this direction where they're just experimenting with their sound a bit more um adding some new bits and pieces that make the album the album um like Whenever I think of, like, um, I don't know, I, I feel like whenever I think of, like, New Age Filth, I'm thinking about, like, huge production, very fun stuff, um, Mental Knife, a bit more darker in a way, um, I think Wake for me is just, Wake and Culture Scars for me are just, like, very big, uh, lyrical content stuff, um, but, um, Divine Entertention, I'm thinking about, like, Big Atmosphere, nice guitar leads, huge, uh, vocal heart or not vocal harmonies, like vocal layers and, um, a whole variety of different sounding songs. And I think that's like the major pro of this album, but, um, yeah, I cannot wait to listen to this album more. Um, I love Hail the Sun, really enjoy their stuff. And, um, yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about this album. But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions, uh, please put them down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.